Hello and welcome to Trojans Live. Jordan Moore and Sean Cody on Trojans Live. And, you know, TV, I, I brought this up a little bit. Sometimes in this offense, it feels like, you know, one guy will get into a rhythm for during a, a game or part of a game. And, you know, so you have quiet sections of a game. I, I can't remember. Maybe you had one catch in the first half, but you're doing a lot of running routes and doing some blocking, but you weren't really involved in the game. And then all of a sudden in that drive, it was like, oh, I remember Tyler Vaughn's. It's 21 out there. And they went catch, catch, and then they hit you on the big one. How hard is it to to just sort of, sort of stay focused, not necessarily knowing when your time is coming in an ind individual game, but but being ready when it does? All right. Um, just know how offense is. Uh, everybody can have a day. It just depends on how what they give it. So just knowing what they was giving us, we knew like, okay, like I'm probably not gonna get in this aspect, but you can meet other people are, so we can set up different plays, and that's more so putting us in different positions to actually win and do better things. So, I mean, you just gotta be patient out there. I mean, it's not too hard, but I mean, it gets hard sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> TV, uh, your group really led the charge, I think, in this one. Obviously, uh, the spark on, on the team with Drake London making that big man style, taking it to, to the house on that one. You know, you 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 with the catch at the end, Amon Ross St. Brown with the touchdown, uh, Gary Bryant getting involved in this one. Talk about your group and you what you guys are able to do uh, in this rivalry game. I feel like we're unstoppable as a core. Um, we have the best best receivers in the nation, I feel like. Um, just knowing, just knowing us and – how special each person is and, and different, how, how different we are in every aspect of the game. I mean, we bring it all to the table at once. It's just who can guard us at the end of the day. So that's how I feel about all our guys. I mean, G, to GB, Josh, John, everybody. I mean, we really go out there every day to prove a point. We are the best and we know that. And um, we just we just go to the park and do it every day. You're listening to Tyler Vaughn's on Trojans Live. Hey, Trojans, if you need a home loan to fit your team and budget, Rocket can. Rocket Mortgage, proud mortgage partner of the USC Trojans. TV, you made that diving catch in the end zone that we just played. You also made the one where you climbed over two defenders, which ultimately sets up the game-winning touchdown. Which one is harder for you? Um, In terms of difficulty of catching? Yes. Give me the degree of difficulty on the two catches. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't that hard to catch them balls. It just it was really it was really repetition. We do it in practice. I mean, of course, like we're not diving in practice, but that's just tracking the ball and everything like that. But we do pat and go every day. Um close ground like really gets on us about it. Just the simple things of letting the ball fall over your shoulder and just following and tracking it in. Um, it goes back to that, just just knowing that we are prepared for every situation. You guys had a play going into that that last drive and 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 Keaton checks to you on that play. What's it like when, when your quarterback's checking to you say, hey, man, let's go win this thing? And, you know, Clay Helton talked about it. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't sure if he wanted that called, but he, you guys call it and go, and go for it, and he trusts you guys to do it. What's it like when your quarterback looks to you and say, hey, man, let's go win this thing? Let's make a play. That's all I'm thinking. I mean, just him, him giving me the signal and telling me that he needs me on this play, I got him always. I mean, just knowing us out there, he can give it to anybody. Like I said, we are, I, I promise you, we are the best receiver, like core in the nation, like, because we have different weapons and how we can really adjust on the fly to everything. And um, just knowing how much we trust our quarterback, how much he trusts us, it just sets up perfectly for us. Yeah, they ran a stat today about how ridiculous Keaton's fourth quarter numbers are in his uh, two-year career at USC. And somebody asked me about it. And I, you know, I had to give sort of one of those fan answers, which is just, you know, it's the unquantifiable, right? It's poise, you know, call it what you will. I'm wondering, you know, somebody who I was going to say shares a huddle, you guys never huddle. So you share a line of scrimmage with him, but a sideline in practice, you know, what, what do you think it is about him that, that he does seem to thrive and, and deliver under pressure? Um, I mean, he's just poised back there. I mean, it's, it's going to be some times where he, he gets fluttered because of what's going on in the game. But when it comes to just locking in and completely focusing in in the fourth quarter, depending, not even depending, just knowing what the situation is and what Keaton, he puts himself in the best position. And we always try to rise to his occasions and make sure we make plays for him. So just knowing that we got him back there and we trust him and he trusts us, I feel like that's why – his fourth quarter and his stats are the way they are. We're with Tyler Vaughn's TV. 
talk about your style, man. You're you have you have a unique wide receiver style. I, I sometimes you can I, I I'm like, oh my god, is he gonna start? Like you you play so slow and then it speeds up and then just a unique sense of smoothness built with like athleticism. Where did you <laughs> you've always been that kind of smooth player out there? Like that one play I, I can remember specifically is you got the ball and look like you're gonna walk and you took off, you shook two dudes and you gained 10 yards. Talk about your style as a wide receiver. Um, my style is very free. Um, I, I go out there playing like I'm playing with my brothers, like all over again. Um, I don't go out there just trying to focus on too many things. I go out there just be me. Um, I try to express myself as much as I can on the field. So, me being smooth, that comes from my grandpa. I'm gonna give it up to my uh, my well, rest in peace. OG. Um, on me, he 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 taught me a lot just about just how you carry yourself and how you do your thing, and um, just never let a situation phase you in a situation like or just be in a situation and let it just overcome what your emotions could be the last one from me i was laughing i saw mike jinx tweet out his son catching <laughs> touchdowns in a 21 jersey and then doing your dance I'm, who's are, are you a better dancer than elijah griffin i'm sure og likes to claim the title but uh you know you got you got your shimmy too no nah, og og the best dancer i got my shimmy though i mean i'm, I'm more of a two-stepper and everything like that. I can jig with you, but OG's a more full around dancer. Redemption week. We got we got Oregon coming in, man. What what uh you, you guys took a took a whooping last year. What's it like? What's the talk on the team about uh, getting back against the Ducks? Can't lose. We're not gonna lose. That's a whole talk. There's nothing more more to be said about it. We're just not gonna lose to them. Well, you certainly played like that on Saturday. Refuse to lose mentality. Looking forward to seeing it again on Friday night. Tyler Vaughn's yes, one of our sir. favorite guys. Love watching you succeed.